we're all good here. God. So much money. Okay, well good. We don't have to do Van Whitman. <clears throat> That's a little bit of money, but not a ton. Oh, right. Does somebody have a... You've got to have a camping wire, right? Nighttime ambush. Okay, good. All right. Oh, wait. I want that back up. Sure. Scouting chance could be helpful. Um, ooh. This would be very good for the fight against the boss. And because you have the bonus versus marked anyway. There's nobody else in the party that does mark, though. Oh, well. We'll try to make it work. Ben Whitman. Yes. Uh, yeah, let's go with that for now. Crow, you get that one. I like that ring, I don't like the dodge penalty, which I think means I don't like that ring. Just take that. Patty, you're gonna take that and Junia's head. Provision. <clears throat> Medium veteran level dungeon against the Swine King. Uh, hoping that we'll, it'll be obvious where the boss is going to be and we won't need a ton of stuff. That said, it looks like I'm taking a ton of stuff. Oops. Just in case. Okay. I think we're good. Let's try this. We're ready to camp. We've got a party that I think should be good for this boss. I don't know. Oh, you do get a bonus against Marked. A slight one. Okay. Alright. Let's see how it goes. You have group heal, right? Yeah. My first attempts at summoning were crude, and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs, whose flesh is most like that of man. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. God. Crow's wasting. Crow, you should probably drink one now, huh? Patty, why don't you drink one? Osric, why don't you drink? Okay. It would seem... It would seem obvious to me that... Oh, come on, map. The boss is over here.
Hmm. Kind of tempted to go for this treasure, even though it means an extra fight. We could go do, 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 do. Or we could go do, avoid the fight. Do, do, do. We'll see. Let's, let's get here. Maybe we'll get a scout or something crazy like that. 80%, 125, 100. Why are you guys already... When they drink the blood, their hit points go... Oh, no, no, no. Their penalty for hit points goes away, but they're still left with their original hit points. I see. Okay. I don't know that I like that, but okay. In Radiance, may we find victory. Oh, God. Chevalier. Can't get started on that ugly fucker. Stun him. Let's try that. Hmm. Good. As the Thank enemy you, Batman. I am a god! Oh, you don't want the buff? Give it to Van Whitman, then. Quit stressing out Crow, damn it. Heal yourself. Oh, except that you were already full health. Whoa. Annihilated. Snort. Nicely done. Super resistant to stun. Okay. Wow. Nice. You are damned. Nice dodge. Mount, so too will resistance. Hmm, already a full inventory, huh? I don't remember if there's anything that works for this. No. No. Ah, uh, just do it. Tuckered out, quirked, removed. Good. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. If we go this way. We could, we could go this way and just avoid two entire fights. The only thing we'd have to do is have a fight in this room. Possibly, if there's one there. And then there's the boss. Presumably, that's the boss. Or go this way to get treasure and then backtrack. Or go this way and then do this. Nah. It ain't worth it. Crow's already a little stressed out. Let's avoid what we can avoid.
Marius Highwayman. I've read that one. Um, I want to hold on to that just in case we get a stupid um, debuff or something that we want to remove. Eat some food. Great, all these trinkets are giving me super scouting abilities. Okay, so we have to do at least one fight between here and the boss, but that might be it. We can camp in that room and be ready to go. Actually, maybe we should camp in this room coming up. Clumsy. Place Necromania. Ah. Craving, eh? Though it's, you know, it might wear out when we camp. I don't know if it'll last through the camping. You don't even have your good ah, rats. I should have looked at this before I came in. I would really like to have gotten that one. But I didn't think to look at it. CD has that one. Osric does not. So, since we don't really have any battle buffs that we can take, between here and the boss. Let's do this fight, then we'll camp. Yeah. Place flagellant. Okay. It's not too bad. Negative one speed if health is below fifty. Yeah. They're everywhere down here. You're going to resist it, but I want you to take it. Temptation grows with each blow. What? What are we doing? Yeah, Crow's confused. I was thinking you'd kill him. Crap. Take that. Kill this asshole. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Kill this asshole. Big heal for Van Whitman, please. Good. Eh, I'm gonna get stunned through. Try to blight her? Blight it? Her? back there, huh? Yeah, 
sure. Aha! This will work. Oh! Woo! These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna drop that. Take that. We'll camp in here. Maybe we'll get a scout to show us for sure where the boss is. Yes, it's where we predicted. <gasps> and there's a secret room. Okay, if this fight goes well and we all survive, we'll go get that secret room because we have to go through a fight to get there. Let's camp here. Yes, let's camp here. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Let's use all eight because we could use the de stress. So, for sure, we're going to do this one. Um, I think we only have one religious person, right? I don't think Crow, Van Whitman, or Osric qualify. Definitely want to do that. What else we got? Hmm. Might be good. Don't need scouting chance. Don't really need to worry about surprise, I don't think. Okay, let's start with this. Who do we want to give it to? Uh... Van Whitman already has pretty high accuracy and pretty high dodge, so maybe we give it to Osric? Could do that, that would leave us with two. We could do this, uh, two crow, and reduce her stress even more. I think that's what I'm going to do. You're going to do this to yourself. More accuracy, too. Good. Okay. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. And we retained our bloodlust. Let's see how far into the fight we can take it. All right. Here goes. And because we have it, why don't... Uh, hmm... Take that. All right, everybody. Wish us luck. The light, the promise of safety. It is a travesty, a blundering mountain of hatred and rage. <laughs> okay, we get it. Uh, 198 hit points on this bad boy, huh? Has a little bit of dodge, no protection. Wilbur has a lot of dodge, but we're not going to focus on him until until the end. We'll have to end up getting marked, and then he'll end up hitting us, and we'll end up taking a lot of damage. But let's start. Good start, very good. Hang on there, crow. Marks will get bonus damage. 
The Swine King only gets one turn per round, so we won't lose the mark super fast. Pretty resistant to stun, not resistant to blight. So I could give that to you. Wilbur won't die from blight in a couple of turns. Osric. Let's buff Osric. Look out! Whew! Nice. Good dodge. Uh-oh. Stunned. Alright, here's your chance, dude. Do it. 23. Okay. Three marks in our party now. Stun, huh? Damn, I was hoping for more. 21 is on the low end of your range. Nice! Good job, you guys. I guess just keep buffing Osric. We're not taking too much damage because we've been dodging everything, so let's keep using Patty for damage. Ho oh, ho! Nice. Ooh, he's angry now. His mark is gone. Um, okay, let's do it again. Yes! Nice resistance, baby. Needed that. Wow. No, 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 don't end that one. She needs to heal. Oh, she's back to... Back to regular old curse. Okay. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. I think we can do this. Uh-oh. Oof. Twenty. Okay, there we go. It's good. How quickly the tide turns. Mm. Stunned. Okay, you can kill him. Indeed, you do. Horrible in death. With another critical. Action cannot come soon enough. Uh oh, he's pissed. Like, I'll show you! You little assholes. <laughs> Actually, he's the little asshole. You giant assholes! Ha! I resisted your stun because I was already stunned. Oh, stop it! A time to perform beyond one's limits. Don't stun. Yes, thank you. Nice. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Hmm. Take that. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking about trying to go to get the secret room, which means we'd have one fight to go through. Uh, 
Don't want to drop the food because there might be a hunger check. Drop the laudanum. Take both for now. Continue adventuring. Um. Consume a little bit of food. We have a hunger check's worth left. Let's try to get to the secret room. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Okay, let's do this. Vampires? No, just maggots. Okay. Nice. The pit. Good start. Actually, let's use you to heal. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Mm. All right, fine. You undid my heal. And you stunned Crow, huh? Be gone, fiend. I gotta admit, Van Whitman straight up kicked ass in this dungeon. She's pretty much, she was pretty much the chief damage dealer in that fight against uh, the Swine King. I was gonna say, you better not take my secret door away. Where did it go? Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Uh oh. Bloodthirsty. Well, you are a vampire. Placed resolution. Okay. Secret room. What do we get? Hey, 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 hey! That's awesome. Okay. Drop the torches, drop the shovel. Eh, sure, whatever. We're getting the heck out of here. Worth it to go to that secret room. Fantastic. Whew, very nice. We needed that. And another boss eliminated. And our people are leveling, leveling up. Crows reached level 5. Patty Van Nort's almost there. Van Whitman's now level 4. Osric is approaching level 5 as well. He got re Robust, uh, which replaced Wield Tactician. Van Whitman got Fengophobia, which replaced Egomania, and Hard Skin, which replaced Slugger. Crow got Light Sensitive, which replaced Calm, and Deadly. I'm pretty satisfied with how that went. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. A day long awaited. Word of our predicament has spread and a new crop of aspiring corpses step from the stagecoach. Six more recruits than usual. Every time that this has happened, I have not been able to take advantage of it. But anyway, week 58. Osric Van Whitman, Crow, and Patty Van Nort sent the Swine King back into the hells from which it came. Crow is now champion. Van Whitman is now master. Uh, we got the town event day long awaited. Thunderwings thirsting for the blood. Solius has come down from the bloodlust. In the tavern, Trius returned from Drunken Bender. That's good. In the sanitarium, Morgan underwent effective disease treatment and cured syphilis. She still has ennui, I think. And in the sanitarium, Elan underwent effective disease treatment and cured the runs. I'll put you back in there. Morgan. Okay. 
So, before we spend too much money, let's do this. 5% interest gained per week. Sweet. Should help the finances a bit. Let's look and see what we get here. Tons of occultists. Jeez, three of them. Honestly, even if we had the space, I don't, don't know what I'd take from this group. Could always use another jester, I guess, and another grave robber. Otherwise, there's nobody that's like lighting my world on fire. Okay, so. Um, gather three ancestors relics. Should we go back to the courtyard? We have two invitations pending. We still have these afflicted heroes. Crow's stressed out. Zargo's still afflicted. Jade Dragon and Serial are still afflicted. Serial's been afflicted for a few weeks. Alright, uh, here's what I think we can do. <clears throat> oh, of course, Serial will only flagellate. Gotta remember that. afford that. Alan could, eh, Alan could use it, but he's just over 40. I think I'll leave him. Jazargo definitely needs it, though. <laughs> and Courtney and Anorak. Courtney, what are you allowed to do? You only flagellate. Okay, so you're not going this week. Not allowed to gamble. So I got my vampires in one building, <laughs> and my non-vampires in another building. And we'll just wait on Courtney until next week when the flagellation chamber is open. This week, though, what are we going to do? I think we might go back. The vampirism thing is getting a little out of hand. There's vampires. Most fights now in every dungeon are vampires, and I don't want to take non-vampires out because then they get turned into vampires. Ugh. I was going to say, I didn't think I could take level 5 on this thing. It is veteran level. because I have so few frontline people um, who 
used to be just frontline apprentice level people. Now I'm running out of frontline veteran level people. I only have Soleus, really. And I've used Osric in that fashion. He'll work. I think, um, even though Axel will almost certainly become a vampire, I'll take her on this mission as well. Because... Why not? Patty just went. If we do Soleus... This might be just a, this might be crazy. I don't know that I should do this. Take these non-vampires. <sighs> Meredith? That's what I'm thinking about. I don't... Uh. I'm worried about... Worried about them turning into vampires, but... I can't, if I take any non-vampire party into any dungeon now, there's so many vampire fights that any one of these guys could turn into a vampire in any dungeon, much less the courtyard. So if I'm going to keep taking non-vampires out, I'm going to run the risk no matter where I take them. Or I could try to do a short... Um, Champion level dungeon. Got Draithlin for a healer. Got Thunderwing, got Zephos. Champion such a different beast. What would that look like if I take Thunderwing? Unlikely lively. I could take Thunderwing, I could take... Actually, William hasn't been out in a long time. What does this look like? Oh! Short champion level. Okay, how about William? Can't take Anorak because he's all stressed out. Erdrick? Draithlin, you'll be the healer. CD, I guess? I think that might be what I try. A lot of non vampires here, but um, I think I might try it and see if we can't actually tackle our first intentional champion level dungeon. Of course, we've done this, the um, Shrieker, and we've done Brigham Wolf, but those were both spur of the moment things. This is the first time we're actually setting out with the intention of doing champion level dungeon, but I'm going to save that for next time. Let's go back though and make sure that our party is upgraded. I don't know that we can afford to upgrade them any more than they already are. Let's see if there's anything 
grossly missing. Yeah, we can't afford it. But everybody will be the same. Speaking of the blacksmith. Yep, bunch of deeds. What am I saving the busts for? Abbey and the sanitarium. Uh, I want to do that because I still want to lock in. Um, Zephos's Corvid's eye. But I'm not going to do that this week because we need to save up the crests for other stuff. I'm kind of tempted to do this though and then put Courtney in there. Of course, oh, and Courtney's not a vampire. Right. Let's do that. Yeah, sure, what the hell. Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. Oh my god, that's so much. For some, atomic against the bloodshed. <sighs> All right, fine. Okay, so everybody's upgraded as much as we're going to be able to afford to do them. Next time, we're going to do this short champion level dungeon. Champion as a whole, you remember the, the jump in difficulty from Apprentice to Veteran? Well, get ready for a similar jump, if not worse, from Veteran to Champion. But anyway, yeah, that's where we'll be headed. The Ruins, with William, Erdrick, CD, and uh, Draithlin. We'll trinketize next time. And after this, maybe we'll try to tackle the courtyard again. So, until next time, everyone, take care, and I will see you around.